Steam Drunk. Yeah, that's right. For the third time in as many months, the Steam Drunk series is taking a look at a game that actually came out on Super Nintendo first. This time it's Bubsy Twofer, and it's nothing more than the two Bubsy SNES games on an emulator. There's no display options, nothing new at all. You even have to reset your controls every single time you start up the game. What the hell is that? This package was even approved by Steam Greenlight, so this is all your fault for making this happen. They even have an embarrassingly whiny, guilt-inducing passage here. It says, Accolade's most notorious character had not been seen since an ill-fated venture into 3D. Out of the blue, he showed up at Retroism's doorstep, bedraggled and mumbling about being doomed to a legacy of shame and obscurity? Wait, what? Has he been drinking Jim Beam behind a dumpster every day for the past 20 years? But we've cleaned him up and given him a new lease on life, a shot at returning to the big time, but he'll need your support. Well, that bedraggled and mumbling cat got it, but like I said, these are just the SNES ROMs played on an emulator, so whatever. Hey, you know what? I know someone who can help me with this. That's drunk. There were two Bubsy games for the Super Nintendo, Bubsy Claws Encounters of the Third Kind, and the more succinctly titled Bubsy 2. Starting with the first game, this is just exactly what you'd expect. You're a cat, you jump around, you jump on enemies, you run to the right. I'm trying to come up with a list of the game's strengths here, and uh, it's certainly bright and colorful. Yeah. At its best, there's just nothing here in Bubsy that a thousand other games haven't already done to death. I wish I could just call the game an inoffensive platformer and leave it at that, but no. In Bubsy Claws Encounters of the Third Kind, you don't have a lot of screen real estate to work with, so it's up to the player to manually scroll the screen in various directions to look out for danger. This is a ginormous pain in the ass, and really there's no way around not doing it because everything in this game kills you. That's right, one hit deaths. You die from enemies, you die from water, you die from falling. Not only that, there's no power-ups at all. Nothing here can help you. The non-intuitive level design does you no favors either. Oh, hey, a pipe. Where does this go? Oh, straight to hell. I see. The controls can best be described as floaty. You can read a dozen reviews of this game, hit Control F and search for floaty, and you'll find it in just about every one. Now, if Bubsy had a life bar instead of one-hit deaths, that'd make the game a little more tolerable, but the way it is, it's just bad. It's, it's really bad. To sum up, Bubsy is a classic example of a game I've talked about many times throughout many a video over the couple years I've been doing this. Some suits come up with a cutesy anthropomorphic mascot, stick it in a 2D platformer, market the bejesus out of it, and seriously, this game was advertised freaking everywhere. And meanwhile, how the game plays is like number 75 on the list of priorities. Bubsy is generic at best and pandering crap with little regard to game design at worst, and it's one of the worst games on the Super Nintendo. Bubsy 2, to its credit, tried to make some improvements on its predecessor. There's no more one-hit deaths. There's weapons to choose from, and the floaty controls are... less floaty. In fact, they went in the opposite direction and made the controls way too tight. Bubsy moves too fast, and oftentimes the screen does not scroll fast enough to keep up. He's so fast that it's hard not to keep him from flailing out of control. They did at least add weapons, like what looks like a ping-pong gun, so that's useful. The levels in Bubsy 2 are huge, and you just kind of wander around and find doors that may or may not lead somewhere you actually want to go. There's bonus games, there's an Egyptian motif, a medieval motif, you're in outer space. This game is as generic as it gets in gameplay and appearance. There's just nothing here worth going out of your way to experience. To its credit, Bubsy 2 is better than its predecessor, and by that I mean it's more tolerable. It's mediocre rather than bad. Alright, that's like eight paragraphs on Bubsy, and that is way too much. The point is, don't be fooled when you see this on Steam. It's the same SNES games that weren't any good back then, and they aren't any good right now. Avoid these games. 